Going green is a popular term these days, and keeping with that theme, we are going to show you how to create usable art from carefully collected vintage and salvage materials. Here to show you how are Jen Derringer and Lori Frankel from Reclaimed Crafts in Northampton. Ladies, great to have you here. Thanks Hi. for having us. You are going to show us today how to make decoupage coasters out of ceramic tile, right? Yes. They are absolutely beautiful. I, I think Thank these you. Are just so, this is the finished product here. We'll just jump and show what we're going to make. Um, they're so, so nice. So we're going to learn how to do that today. What is the first step in making these? So you first want to pick your fabric. We have some wonderful vintage fabrics that we um, scored from a retired um, uh, seamstress. And what you want to do is you want to pick what part of the fabric pattern you want to use. You can see here, these are two that I already started. Each piece is going to be slightly different because the, the, the pattern is so different on the fabric. Right, exactly. So you want to cut it about, the, this is about a four and a quarter inch square, so you want to give yourself about an inch on every side. And then let's just go ahead and jump right in. Here's your piece right here. You're going to take your ceramic tile, which um, are always available at Tag Sales, our favorite place to get them, <laughs> but you can also get them at a hardware store. And um, they're just ceramic tiles, and you're going to take your right, like brush. You Using your home in your bathroom. Or exactly. Backsplash. Okay. And the adhesive you're using is called Mod Podge. You're just going to uh, swipe it right on top of the tile. Okay. And this adheres it, and you're also eventually going to put it on the top, and it does a nice job of sealing the fabric before you put your polyurethane on, which will uh, protect it, uh, will make it waterproof, will protect it from your uh, cocktail glasses. And while you ladies are doing that, I was going to show how we can also use scraps of decoupage paper that we've picked up at yard sales to create um, similar coaster with um, just little pieces of paper scraps. Let me see that. I love this. I think it is so cute. It's so perfect for the, the season too. The uh, little sailboat and sun. So you can just get, this is just like scrap booking paper. Okay. Exactly. And um, really it's just about, this. these are sort of fun because it's a colored tile mm -hmm. and you can just sort of cut and go. I, I sort of let the design find, you know, just sort of find it as I keep cutting. I love that. It's uh, perfect for the season. Yeah. So, so what we're going to do is just place your fabric, or center it in the middle. Yep. And you're starting from the center, you're just going to smooth it out with your fingers. It'll go on nice and easily. Okay. And you're going to flip it over to the back. Oh. And this is really just like wrapping a present. You're going to, again, ad adhere your Mod Podge to the edges and to the back. And feel free to be liberal with it. It will dry clear. Okay, great. And then once you've done that, you have this finished like this. Yes. This is a dried that's, version. Yep, that's exactly right. So the first edge is always the easiest because you're just pressing it firmly onto the tile like that. And what these are great for is this is just a little bit of felt mm -hmm. and some clothespins also procured at Tag Sales, of course. Of course. Of course. Yes. <laughs> and you're just going to use that. You're going to protect the fabric with the felt and then stick your clothespin on here just to secure it um, so oh, it dries yeah. well. yeah. Perfect. Not, not a necessity, but sometimes nice to do. Really helpful. So we'll keep going. Okay. Now you get a lot of, a lot of your material is most of it is recycled and yes. salvaged. Yes. So you go tag sealing. You enjoy seeing the, the treasures it. you can find. Absolutely. Yes. It's our part, part, some of the favorite parts of what we do is getting the materials. Yeah, Jen and I met professionally, and once we started uh, speaking more personally, we realized that that's how we were both spending our Saturday morning. So coming together and, and finding things at tag sales and then figuring out what we were going to do with them was really a, a great bond between us. Yeah, that's a perfect fit then. And so you really enjoy sharing with each other what kind of finds you get when you go out tag sailing. Oh, Absolutely. yes. Yes, I get the, the excited call. You're not going to believe what I found. <laughs> all these nautical maps. I do that with my, with my mom, you know, I mean, the thing. So it, it is definitely oh, an exciting thing. Now, I have, we have to fun. show some of the other things that you've made over here because they're, yes. just, sure. they're just so cool and so neat. We'd so if you to. wouldn't mind explaining some of the things that you've made from salvage material mm -hmm. on display over here. Yeah, absolutely. And we brought some before and after because it's really that's some of the fun is we, we're very material driven and mm -hmm. so we'll buy things like these beautiful um, staircase balusters that you, you sort of we often will buy things and say we have no idea what we're going to do with this but it's so beautiful we have to have it and these balusters became these candlestick holders mm -hmm. um, like this that's and that's so some neat. barn wood as mm -hmm. the base. We're, we're suckers for anything with chipped paint too. Exactly. Oh yeah look that this Total look. suckers. Yes. Yep. Exactly and then we did the same thing I got a little obsessed with some with croquet sets old croquet sets that you can find all the time at tag sales and flea markets 
And what these became were, you took the head off the mallet, Mm -hmm. um, and these became also candlestick holders, um, which that you, you had so mentioned neat. they look nautical, yeah. which, we, which we love. And uh, this is another example of a baluster where we took the entire baluster, made made the base and the three candlesticks on top. And um, there's so much more. I wish we had more time to show it all. We're actually out of time, <laughs> but um, we'll have to have you back to show more of the great things that That'd you do. That'd be great. To explain. We'd love it. So thanks so much, ladies, for being here. Thank, Thank you.